Well, here we are again for another video from Andy Alberti. And today uh, we purchased a fry pan from Gotham uh, uh, Steel. And we have had this pan for 30 days. And you know, their big deal, not just Gotham, but the copper pan and all the rest of them, claim that this pan is so slick that things are just going to slide off it and they do a demonstration where they fried an egg and the egg just flo floats right off into the dish and what have you. So this morning we're going to fry an egg and we're going to see what happens uh, with a pan that we've had for 30 days. So uh, we'll be right back. Now we have taken the pan this morning and we're preheating it at about two-thirds uh, to three-fourths of the normal temperature on our electric stove the temperature would be set on number eight. I'm going to take this egg I'm going to crack it in the pan and we're just going to drop it in and we'll see how things go. Uh, this is an egg that we bought at uh, Smith's Foods. <clears throat> I sort of already know how this is going to turn out, but we thought it would be best to demonstrate it uh, live and uh, give you a first-hand look. Now, I, I have some breakfasts that I like to make, which are typically a potpourri, if you will, of various vegetables that I just buy and kind of chop up and throw in a pot, and then I add an, a scrambled egg or a uh, uh, stuffing or sour cream and just a whole bunch of ingredients. And we'll do another video on that later to show you exactly what we put together so that we can have a very nourishing breakfast, very efficiently made and, uh, and very tasty to eat. So here I've got that egg. You can see it. And... It's not quite done yet. I'm going to wait until the white is, whoa, you can hear that popping away. Oh, there it goes again. So we must be getting pretty close to the fact that our egg is, uh, well, if you look at it, uh, it's starting to break up here. Let's see if we can't take a spatula and turn that egg over. Whoa. So right now, it's not exactly lifted off, but I don't like my eggs sunny side up. I like them over easy or over medium, so that's what you're going to get. That's the back side of the egg. <coughs> As you can see, there's no way I could have just slid that egg out from the pan onto my bowl or my plate. I had to use the spatula, and this is a soft spatula, uh, to, to turn the egg over so we could see where it was. Now, I'm going to pull that egg out. Well, maybe I'm not. There we go. There's my, uh, there's my egg, and I'm just kind of waiting for it to slide out there. It's not going to happen. And I think when, when we first got the pan, it seemed to cook differently than it's cooking now. And I think what they did, when they, I'm going to chop this up now because I need a scrambled egg for my breakfast here. So you can see that the egg would not come out. So right now I'm scrambling it as best I can. And I'm using a soft utensil. I have used a metal spatula. To, uh, to pull up and cook. Uh, my wife likes to use that. But uh, when it comes to the way I cook, my preference is just to use soft utensils unless it's absolutely necessary. So now I'm going to add a little bit of rice here. I like rice. Rice is a low-cost additive to whatever it is that you're cooking to eat. And... Uh, it just heats right up. 
Now, in addition to this, uh, the pan is not that hot, so I'm going to add a little stuffing this morning. Yes, I know, nobody eats stuffing with their breakfast, but I do, and it's delicious. So I'm going to add some stuffing in here, sort of add a different flavor. And there is one other thing now that I'm going to get. If I can just move this a little bit. I like a little hot sauce on my meal. Gives it a little zinger. So I add a little hot sauce here. Not too much because we have to not need a fire extinguisher the next morning. And you know what I'm talking about. So now I've got this all cooked up, everything is warmed up, it's nice and hot, and um, oh boy that hot sauce really smells good. So now it's all cooked up, and I can remove what I've cooked from this non-stick pan, which does not appear to be quite that non-stick, and i turn the uh, stove off here. This is what we'll wind up with. This pan is now, there is no scraping that off. You'd have to get a metal spatula. So with that, I'm going to grab a little bite to eat here, and we'll be right back to take a look at what we're going to do with this pan now that we're done. Well, now that the uh, pan is done cooking and it's kind of cooled down so I can put my hand on it, you can see that uh, this is pretty well burned into the bottom of the pan. There's a little bit of, uh, what am I doing this here? <clears throat> a little bit of rice left over in the bottom. I can just take that out. But there's no way that I can do something with this pan until I soak it. So that's going to be the next step here. I'm going to put in some water out of the tap. And uh, I'm just going to let it sit here in the sink for a while. I'll give it about an hour. Then we'll come back and uh, we'll just see what's happened to our pan. Well, now the pan has sat in my sink for a couple of hours. And as you can see, uh, it's still there, so we're going to rinse it. I'll kind of wipe it with my hand a little bit, but uh, it's still there. Even my wooden spatula won't get it all off, it'll get some of it. So I decided I would take a little scrubby, and on the hard side of the scrubby, See if I can't get the stuff off. I mean, it's really stuck on there. And but as you can see, it is coming clean. I'm not using any soap or detergent or never have used any in this pan. Uh, you know, the advertisement says you can just wipe it clean and stick it in storage. Well. Uh, we tried that in the beginning, it sort of worked, but now that we've had this pan for a month, uh, we've kind of had some experience with it, and as you can see, now that I've abused it a bit, it is rather nice and clean. And I have to say, the pan itself, when you rub your hand in it, it is as smooth and slick, and I don't know why the stuff is sticking to the pan. It's not supposed to. So here, I, here's my theory. I think that when they do this demonstration on television, that they've got plastic eggs, that it's not the real food, 
and that, sure, it slides right off because the pan's brand new, but I think it's not real food. I think they're plastic foods that they just stick in there and show you how easy it is for the food to come out. But all in all, I would say this is probably going to last us a very long time. And this one came from uh, Gotham Clearing. Steel. We bought it through Publishers Clearinghouse. But uh, I have to say, I'm, I'm, I'm still happy with the pan. It's sure better than those Teflon pans that you see on TV, which are a little lower cost, which I don't think will last as long. And my wife has actually used a few metal spatulas and things in the pan. You know, they show you can use an egg beater to mix up the scrambled egg. Well, we've been a little careful with it since we got it. And I hope this gives you a little bit of an idea of what to expect when you get one of those ceramic pans that will last forever, we hope. And don't forget, supply, uh, sign up for my uh, YouTube channel. We'll be showing more YouTubes on different items as we go through the 2017 year. Well, I'm back, and uh, yesterday I made the mistake of cooking pancakes in my pan. And this is the pan. I've been soaking it since yesterday. And as you can see, it's got a whole bunch of sticky stuff to it. Now, these were pancakes. I didn't expect that the pancakes were going to do this to my pan. And actually, I have been working on this pan uh, for about two minutes, scrubbing it, trying to get it clean. So once again, I'm turning on the water. And just so you can see how much effort it's taking me to get this pan clean. I think if I had done this with my Teflon pan, I would not have had this problem. So uh, it's taken a lot of work. And I, when they showed me this on television, I didn't see anybody say that there was a restriction on what I could cook in the pan, I got the impression that nothing would stick to it. Now, maybe you got the same impression. I don't know. But, here yeah, I've been, I, I don't know. I, this is really a lot of work here. And as you can see, as hard as I'm scrubbing, that pan is still got some work on it. So maybe maybe they're not as good as they tell us or maybe I'm doing something wrong. But I didn't see anything in the advertisement that said, oh, don't cook pancakes. And I didn't see anything that said, well, don't cook eggs in there because they'll stick. So what could be the problem. Boy, I'm really working out here. And it's not like I really want to give this pan the best shot I can give it. But I saw them cooking chocolate. And I saw them putting all kinds of things in that pan that should have stuck, that shouldn't stick to it. But here I am. There's no way you're going to wipe out this pan, so I'm going to just take another couple of minutes here to finish cleaning up, and I'll be right back. Well, once more, I'm back. I'm still using my little scrubby here to uh, fix this pan that just doesn't want to come clean. I've been working on this thing for about 10 minutes now, and you can tell when you've pretty well got that stuff off because it, it works smoother. It's working smooth on the bottom. But there's these side pieces that have been bothering me <clears throat> and I don't know what to say. <clears throat> I had high hopes for this pan 
<clears throat> and it is looking a lot better. <clears throat> but as you can see, <clears throat> there's all this stuff right around here. I still have pieces and I have uh, a problems right in here. Uh, I'm going to work on it some more, but right now I'm very disappointed in this pan. And I cannot tell you what to do next, but we'll see. Well, once more, I'm back. I'm still using my little scrubby here to uh, fix this pan that just doesn't want to come clean. I've been working on this thing for about 10 minutes now. And you can tell when you've pretty well got that stuff off because it, it works smoother. It's working smooth on the bottom. But there's these side pieces that have been bothering me. <clears throat> and I don't know what to say. <clears throat> I had high hopes for this pan. <clears throat> and it is looking a lot better. <clears throat> but as you can see, <clears throat> there's all this stuff right around here. I still have pieces and I have uh, a problems right in here. Uh, I'm going to work on it some more, but right now I'm very disappointed in this pan. And I cannot tell you what to do next, but we'll see.